Hi there grade nines and welcome to Worksheet Cloud Maths. I hope you're all well today and you are keeping warm on this chilly day. Um, for those of you that have just joined us or joining us for the first time, I hope you will enjoy this lesson so much that you will come back and join us for future lessons on Worksheet Cloud Maths. Um, and for those of you that have been with us for quite a while, um, I hope you are continuing to enjoy this, these lessons and I hope you will enjoy this lesson in particular because today we are going to be looking at the nets of 3D shapes. So let's start. Okay, so we're looking at again geometry of 3D shapes and part of that is looking at what a net is. So what is a net? Okay, a geometric net is a two-dimensional shape that can be folded to form a three-dimensional shape or a solid. All right, so the net basically is a plan of the shape. So it is a two-dimensional shape, which means it's actually flat. And what you can do is then fold it along the lines to cr create a three-dimensional shape or a solid. Okay, so when a surface of a three-dimensional figure is laid out flat, showing each face of the figure, that pattern is called the net. So if we have a look at a shape, here we have a pyramid, a square-based pyramid. Now what would that look like if we had to fold it out? And the most logical way would probably be to cut down these edges of the, or the, the, um, yeah, the edges between the triangles, triangular faces, and then lay it flat. And so that's obviously our 3D shape. That is what the net would look like. So in other words, it is the plan of actually having the shape laid out flat. You can think about it almost like a plan of a house. On the plan, it is two-dimensional because it is flat. And then once you build the house, it becomes three-dimensional. So when you build this um, net together, you put it together, fold everything up, it would end up looking like that. But have a look here. Nets are not unique. So that would not be the only net for that shape that we looked at just now. That's one of the possibilities. So there's our 3D shape, which is our square-based pyramid. That then would be our, um, our net, our one kind of net um, for that shape. And if we actually did it another way, it could look like that. There is your base, and those will be your lateral faces. So there are your um, triangles as faces. And all we've done there is we've cut now around the base and we've um, unfolded the triangles. If you were to fold those triangles up and then join them back to the base, it would give us that as a solid shape. Um, that's not the only other net. There could be others as well. So what I suggest you do is you build a shape, a 3D shape, from this net and then cut it up and see how different um, or how many different nets you can make with that. So just remember that nets are not unique. It's, there's not only one way to do a net or to draw a net of a, of a 3D shape or a solid. Um, there are many different ways. Okay, right. If you draw, um, you try to, sorry, draw a net for this shape. So here's the shape. And what I want you to do is to pause the video, um, have a look at that shape, Look at all the parts that make up that shape and then you try and draw a net for that shape. In other words, the plan of the shape. All right. And remember, we're going to refer to it as a net from now on. So you draw the net for that shape. Right. Did you get this? First of all, there we have our um, rectangular um, or rectangles, okay, which is a rectangular lateral face and we have two bases which are pentagons and there they are there now remember we said that a net is not unique so it doesn't have to look like this it could look differently in fact you could actually have both these um, penta pentagonal um, bases one there and one there you could actually have them anywhere and because when they fold up it's going to give you that shape but how do we go about doing this Okay, so there's our shape. The first thing we have to do is decide what this shape is made up of. And in this case, we have already looked at that. But what we would need to do is say, okay, there is a rectangle, there's a rectangle. How many rectangles do I have all together? Five, because actually I have two bases 
which are both pentagons. So remember, this is a right prism because the, the opposite bases are congruent and our rectangles are also congruent. Our rectangular faces are also congruent. So to find out what this shape is made up of, we're going to first look at the bases. They are pentagons. So actually, this shape is made up of two pentagons and it is made up of five rectangles, which means that we need that information to be able to draw the correct net. Okay, and so we could do it like this. There's one, two, three, four, five, and our two pentagons, there's one and there's another one. And as I said just now, if you wanted to move that pentagon to there, you could. That pentagon could also go there or it could stay where it was. Because remember, a pentagon, it's a regular pentagon, so all the sides are the same shape and or the same size and so they will fit exactly on whichever um, rectang rectangle breadth you actually put them on. Um, you could put both of them next to one another here and almost roll up the shape and it would give you that. All right, so I hope you're all understanding what a net is and actually how to pull it apart. How did you do with this one? I'm sure absolutely fine. Okay, what about this one? Here we have a pyramid, but we have to again look at what this shape is made up of. So we need to pull it apart. Okay, what two shapes are made up or what two shapes are used to make this prism or this pyramid? Okay, it's one hexagon. Look at the base of the shape. It is made up of a hexagon. Um, just one moment, please. Guys, I just suddenly realized there was a mistake there. It wasn't a hexagon. It was one pentagon, which means then we have five triangles making up that pyramid. The last one we looked at was a pentagonal prism, and now we're looking at a pentagonal pyramid with the base being a pentagon. All right, so here we have our two lots of shapes that are made up, the 2D shapes. We have triangles, which are five of them, and one pentagon as the base. So what are we going to do? We're going to now open that up and there is our pentagon and then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five triangles which actually makes up our shape. If you had to fold those triangles in along that line of the pentagon it would end up giving us that pyramid. Okay now again as I said to you um, these nets are not unique so that's not the only way you could do it you could actually do it like this too sorry we've actually made a mistake there as well but you know that it is one pentagon and five triangles it could end up being let me just change this and make it next another mistake for us so again that's one pentagon and five triangles so it could also look like that there you have your pentagon and there you have one, two, three, four, five triangles where you, what you've done is you've cut along the base there and along the base there to keep these two sets of triangles joined together. So as you can see, nets are not unique. They can be cut up in any way. In other words, the shape can be folded out in any way. Right. So if this is the net, then what is the shape? Here we've got the net. What shape would that make? So you try and figure it out. If you can't, pause the video, draw the net, and then try and cut it out and fold it up and see what shape it could make. Okay, did you get this? There's the net, and that's the lateral face, and those two are the bases. What does it form? Right, it forms a cylinder. There you can see the base, the bottom base you can't see, but that would be the lateral face. And remember, if you cut that open there and you unwind it, you will end up with a rectangle because the cylinder, remember, is made up of two circles as being the bases and one lateral face as being a rectangle. Okay, so then what cylinder, what would the cylinder look like if this was the net? Have a look at that. Okay, let's see. Did you get this? Okay, can you see how the bases, the circular bases, are so much smaller so when and the rectangle is longer so it actually instead of making a short squat cylinder it actually makes a tall 
skinny cylinder. So it depends on what the what the net looks like um, as to what the actual shape would look like. So in the previous um, diagram where we saw the pentagonal prism or the pentagonal um, pyramid, if those um, sides, the rectangular sides or the triangular sides were actually um, taller and slimmer, then the pyramid would have been so much higher and the um, the rectangular prism or the right prism would have also been so much longer. If they were short and squat, then it would have made them a whole lot shorter. Okay, I hope you understand this and I hope you're going to play around with some of these nets. Um, make up the net and then fold it and see what shape you get. All right, so one more to look at. What is, if this is the net, what is this shape? So here you have it, okay? What is this kind of shape that is made from this net? I'm sure you all managed to work it out, okay? So that is the lateral face, there's the base, and it makes a cone, right? Once again, if the lateral face was more stretched out, the cone would be a lot higher. If the base was smaller, the cone would be narrower at the base. Okay, so a lot of that just makes sense, um, but remember that your, your net is going to determine how tall or short or squat or fat your shape actually ends up being. The first thing to do though is to make sure that you know what your shape is made up of. So again here we have a base and the base is a circle and then we have a cone shape. So actually it looks like a triangle, but because the base is circular, the one face of the, or rather the one edge of the triangle is rounded to actually fit onto that circular base. Right guys, unfortunately that's all we have for today. It is quite a short lesson, but really what I want you to do is to go and um, try and play around with as many nets as you can. Look at shapes and try and draw a net from that or draw a net that you think would make up a shape and see if it really does make up the shape. So start the other way, start with the net and then try and see what kind of shape it would make up. There's a lot of fun that you can have with this because remember the plan is the net. The plan of the shape is actually the net. So you can actually design, design many different shapes with using many different nets. Okay. So I want you to have fun with this and I hope you enjoyed today's lesson even though it was a little bit shorter um, and I hope to see you next time. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. So keep well and keep warm. Goodbye guys.